Hi, everybody. I'm Megan Fraser McGrogan, the Executive Director of the Greater Utica Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us today for another episode of the Leveling Up Social Distancing Series. If you're just tuning in, we've been doing a lot of these episodes. Actually, this will be our 40th episode that we've done since the beginning of the pandemic and when it started hitting our area. We really wanted to give you guys a way to stay in touch with all of our area businesses and organizations. And we think that there's a great backlog of episodes for you to check out. Again, this is our 40th episode. So if you want to get to know some of our area businesses and organizations, it's a great time to go back and look at all of these videos. You can see them on greateruticachamber.org. They're also on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Or if you want to just put me on in the background and do some housework or cook dinner. You can uh, learn about all of our, our businesses and organizations by putting on the podcast version. Uh, the audio version is there. You can subscribe to that. And that is available on any place you listen to podcasts. So Apple and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, pretty much wherever you tune into your favorite shows, you can go on and search Leveling Up with Megan McGrogan and you can hit that subscribe button and you can stay in touch when we do these and we do them every week. So again, a great way for you to take a couple, you know, I think the longest episodes are like 20 minutes. So 10, 20 minutes for you to get to know what's going on in the greater Utica area. So thank you so much again for joining us. Now today we're going to do a little bit of a, a different episode because we have a great event coming up for the chamber, which is our chamber cookout. It's the Bank of Utica chamber cookout hosted by Catalyst. So today I have with me the two Steves, Steve McMurray <laughs> and Steve Karbowski. So welcome guys. Morning, Meg. Good morning. So it's, it's so fun to have you guys because we've been working on this event for a little bit. It's finally going to be here next week. Um, for those of you who don't know Steve and Steve, Steve McMurray, of course, works for WKTV, and Steve Karbowski is with McGrath, Ms. Litsky, Karbowski, and none. <laughs> right? Great, great. Yeah, absolutely. See, I need more coffee. I, I, I got that pretty good, though. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just to give you guys a little bit of history on, on why Steve and Steve are here representing the chamber and this event. So Steve McMurray is the chair of our publicity and events council. And that council handles all of our uh, events and planning uh, fundraisers like this for the chamber. And then Steve Karbowski is the events chair for our Catalyst Young Professionals Group. So I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to just say hello. Uh, why don't we start with Steve McMurray? Well, thanks, Meg. Uh, yeah, I am the chair of the uh, of the Publicity and Events uh, Council, which has been a, a challenge, just like many other uh, entities during this uh, unprecedented, unchartered, whatever uh, phrase you want to use. Um, but we, we have to go on. We have to keep moving. We have to keep the chamber functioning. And uh, kudos to you and, and Angela for uh, just keeping the, the train moving every day uh, for our chamber membership and the community as a whole. Uh, but the Publicity and Events Council, as you said, you know, we're, uh, we're responsible for, uh, for planning the events. And, and these events, don't, uh, they don't happen on a, uh, on a whim. It takes weeks or months of planning. And that has been obviously incredibly more difficult uh, given the circumstances that, uh, that we're in now. Uh, but we, it was very important to, to try to, to think out of the box and, and keep things as normal as we possibly can. We've obviously postponed a lot of major events. Uh, but this was an opportunity to do uh, an event that's only in its second year. We, we did the cookout for the first time last year. It was really successful. Uh, and we thought, you know what, there's, there's virtual opportunities. And so we, we jumped in with, with both feet and we've had a really good response so far. So, um, you know, we had two choices. We could either just punt on everything or keep the train rolling. And, uh, and we chose the latter. Yes. Well, thanks. And, and thanks to your council and also the help of Catalyst. I think we've gotten a, a really fun event put together. Um, so Steve Catalyst kind of jumped in last year and said, you know, we want to do something to give back to the chamber. We want to host an event that fundraises for the chamber. Uh, and so we kind of came together uh, on this. Now, now the the chamber historically had done a clam bake and then Catalyst had done their Be Local Barbecue. So it was your group's idea to really marry the two together and say, okay, how can we work on something together and do one event that's bigger and better and family friendly? Uh, so obviously this year, there's a little bit of a pivot with that. But last year we had great games for the kids. We had face painting, we had root beer floats and the kids can still log on to Zoom, right? It'll still be family friendly. 
Uh, we've got a couple things in the cookout kit. So talk about how this has affected Catalyst and why you guys are excited to be a part of it. Sure, absolutely. Uh, when we, I just want to piggyback because I think it was a year ago today, my mom posted a picture of the jelly eating contest. So that, <laughs> those, those pictures never go away. They stay there forever. It was you know, so, actually. It was yeah. July 23rd last year. Yep. Yeah. It was a year ago today. So how ironic that we have this Zoom call here to talk about this year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we really had to pivot. You know, typically we do a lot of in-person meetings, uh, you know, get the young professionals out to show them what the greater Mohawk Valley area has to offer. Mm -hmm. And so we've been doing a lot of things um, over Zoom. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people have watched me uh, clean my house while we are on our Zoom calls. I get yelled <laughs> at for that, but that is what it is, right? You're home, you're cooking. Um, you know, so we said, how can, let's just, just like C said, how can we keep going forward, you know, you know, keep remaining on top of mind, being relevant. Uh, mm -hmm. and you know, we came up with this, Megan called me, she's like, I got this great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it over zoom. I'm like, great. Yeah, let's do it. And I think, you know, before we started recording, there are people that are going to be away. And even if you can't be in town and do it, if you're away, just, just log on, zoom in. You could, you could see what's going on. You could see people that you would normally see mm -hmm. that's, you know, that would be at the chamber events, which mm -hmm. I'm sure are missing everybody. You know, we haven't done business after hours, which is a big, you know, a big showcase for a lot of what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, so to be able to sort of have the chamber come together in this event and show face, say, hey, we're here, all's well, and then have some, you know, music from Sean happening, that's going to be really great as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's interesting. Um, you know, we've been trying to push some stuff out there to remain on top of mind that we are still young professionals doing a lot of great things in the mm -hmm. area. And a lot of people have pivoted and the chamber has been really, really beneficial in getting the news out that people are open. Here's what they're doing. You know, so kudos to that and everything. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Um, and then, you know, just to kind of give people the details on what to expect in this thing. So we wanted to make something really turnkey for you. And even if you can't log on to the Zoom call, I know we've covered, you can log on to the Zoom call if you can't participate and get the kit. But if you don't want to get on the Zoom call, you can also do that too. Of course, we hope you join us because we're going to be giving away some great prizes. But you know, let us figure out your food for you, right? I mean, like everybody's worried about what they're eating for dinner and cooking and the grocery store is kind of a pain and, you know, restaurants have been great at curbside. So this is really just another curbside opportunity uh, with Feast and Festivities by O'Connor. And everybody knows Patrick O'Connor does a great job uh, with all of his catering. So he's going to be putting together these kits. So you can just grab a kit and be on your merry way if you can't log on to the Zoom too. Uh, again, we want you to join us because we have some great entertainment by Sean Big Sexy Smith. Uh, he's going to be playing. So kind of what to expect. I mean, you guys know we have some great things uh, in the kit. So do, do one of you want to talk about what to kind of expect uh, when you log on and when you pick up your kit? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it to start with. I think when you pick up your kit, uh, that key phrase right there, Megan, is you know self-sufficiency and in, in one-stop shop, right? You're going to get a box and it's going to have – uh, you know, depending on a two-person or four-person kit, it's going to have hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, all the trimmings. Uh, we've got koozies in there. We've got a, a really snazzy chamber of uh, Greater Utica Chamber of Commerce apron with pockets, which for folks to grill, that's always a big thing. You can you never have enough hands. Uh, you know, you've got a, you, you know, you've got a, a spatula in this hand, you've got a fork in this hand, and you've got to bring the beer somewhere. So that goes... <laughs> So, I mean, we just thought of everything. There's Frisbees in there, too, I believe. Um, so, it, it really is. Don't a forget the Frisbees. What's that? Don't forget the Frisbees. Absolutely. You're right. And I think that, you know, and we really made a, 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 an effort last year to make it um, family friendly. Because one thing we heard from our members, and that's one thing I want to stress. We heard from our members that whether it's business after hours or various uh, events, it's tough for some folks to go because of childcare issues or, or whatnot. And so an event that you can bring your kids to and then say, I brought both my kids last year. One of them almost got sick in the jelly eating contest, but she won it. So that's fine. Uh, my son was in the putting contest, but it was an opportunity for honestly, you don't really think about this for them to put uh, faces to the names that I've mentioned. Right. And that, my, and that my wife has mentioned as her company's member of the chamber as well. So we, we kept that going that, you know, we've got the Frisbees, you know, the chamber of commerce, just having that, that phrase inundated 
and resonating is mm -hmm. so important. Mm -hmm. you, I think the key word that I have, that's my ninth key word, but momentum, I think is the area was under such a big push of momentum before COVID hit mm -hmm. and we do everything we can to bring that momentum back once this thing goes away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And Steve, anything you want to add? I know uh, we're going to have the koozies in there. As Steve said, the uh, Frisbee, we're going to have the apron. We're going to be recognizing our sponsors. The food's going to be great. Yeah, I mean, I just, it just goes to show how great, you know, we have sponsors that came through, you know, the Bank Utica, how wonderful that they're giving back to their community, giving back to the chamber, you know, they believe in us, like we believe in them, you know, you talk about community, that's fantastic, you know, Ellis D'Elia is always there supporting the chamber, supporting Catalyst, you know, so, and just like Steve said, once, you know, all this passes, and whenever it does, we're going to be back bigger and better than ever. And yeah. that's so, that's so important to, to have and to think about that, that way, mm -hmm. you know, there are so many young professionals and I think there was just an article that business insider or someone put out that Utica is one of the top 10 places to move after, you know, yeah. COVID-19. Right. You know, so that's really fantastic. You know, there's a, there's a lot of things happening. Downtown's mm -hmm. happening. Um, it's, it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to see everybody, uh, you know, via, um, Max UC that we're on right now, um, yeah. which is which is a great platform and so wonderful that we're able to use it for you know these calls and for everything that's happening, um, you know. So it's it's just really great and really it's it's really fun, you know. Yeah. To, to sometimes it's difficult to think about the process of how can you reinvent the wheel into being socially distant and safe. You know, we thought we found it and it's going to be you know a grand slam. So we're really happy yeah. about that. I think and, one and thing I, I want to add, Meg, real quick is. Yeah. One thing I like about this also is the partnership between the chamber and Catalyst, right? Because that, that, that partnership and that cohesiveness is so important for the future of mm -hmm. organizations going forward. Because mm -hmm. I think what the Catalyst folks get to see is that the chamber board isn't a bunch of old stuffy folks from a bygone <laughs> era that, that, you know, that the businesses pass them by. And I think it's an opportunity for the chamber folks to see, you know what, younger people in this area do really care and they want to move the area forward. And this is one of those perfect events, even though it's virtual, that we can come together and mm -hmm. get that going. Absolutely. And I think, um, and, and just as a sidebar, for those of you who want to learn more, either, I mean, hopefully you know a little bit about the chamber if you're watching. Um, if not, and you want to learn more, of course, our website, greaterutica.chamber.org, we have a catalyst section right in there that tells you all about the Catalyst Young Professionals Group and how you can get involved. It's open to anybody um, who works for a chamber member who's under 40. So, you know, just join the mailing list. You'll, you'll be in touch with everybody. You know, we send out a lot of communication so you can just make sure that you're in the know. Um, and I did, I know we talked about sponsors for the cookout too. So I did want to also give a shout out to our full list of sponsors. Uh, so Bank of Utica, of course, is our presenting sponsor. They have been a long time, great supporter of the chamber. So of course, it's the Bank of Utica cookout. As Steve already mentioned, Alice D'Elia, who actually is our uh, board representative for Catalyst, always very supportive of this group. And he really has been the kind of confidant, you know, to, to the group from the beginning. The group's uh, now in its sixth year uh, and Alice has been right by their side the entire way. So thank you to Alice for supporting the cookout. Uh, also, RCIL is supporting us for this. Uh, the Adirondack Railroad and New York Sash, uh, Scott Hayes on our board, always a great supporter of the chamber. Uh, and then, of course, our platinum investors make all of these things possible. Gilroy Kern and Gilroy, MVHS, and also StaffWorks. Um, so we really have to thank them because, you know, without their investments right now, really the chamber's not getting a lot of income, which is why, you know, Steve McMurray, you mentioned momentum. And really, we have to make sure that we keep the momentum going because we're here to support the business community. And without us, at least I, I'd like to think so, there would be kind of a, a gap there on the networking side of things and people developing their business and getting the word out about their business. Um, you know, our mailing list alone is 3,000 contacts, and that goes a long way when you're trying to get the word out um, and things like this. Like I said, we've done 40 episodes. We're really proud of that. Uh, and just little ways that we can make sure that everybody's top of mind. We keep... Uh, Faces put together, like like you alluded to, Steve Karbowski. Some of us haven't seen a lot of people uh, since yeah. the beginning of all this. So 
I know I'm looking forward to seeing everybody on the Max UC call. And again, that's a great tool provided by Northland Communications. So we're happy to have them uh, providing that platform as well. Um, so let me think, is there any, I'll go through all the details before we, we wrap up here, but is there anything else you guys wanted to cover before we give the final details? No, I think that's it. Just register now. <laughs> yeah, register now. Make sure that you are able to get, you know, that apron. We won't have Steve McMurray and his cooking. I know <laughs> that we're all going to miss that. But you can, you can put that on and think that you are Steve McMurray. So that's <laughs> the consolation. Wow. Right? Consolation. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if if you feel like getting really crazy, you can go back and look at our video from last year, which we had a lot of fun filming. That's right. That's oh, right. Lordy, that's uh, and we didn't even have any any beers before that one. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> All right, so let me run down the complete details for everybody before we uh, sign off here. So again, the Bank of Utica Chamber Cookout hosted by Catalyst is going to be next Tuesday, July twenty eighth. The actual event on Max UC is from 6 to 8 p.m. You can join us for a little bit of it or all of it. When you're on, you will have an opportunity to win some great raffle prizes that have been donated by our board of directors. We have eight prizes in total that are all valued at $50 or more. So you definitely want to log in if you can. Um, you can also join us, as Steve Karbowski mentioned, you can join us just on the call if you want. That's $10. You can just hop on, enjoy some music, and have a chance to win those raffles as well. Um, so we have two opportunities for you to purchase kits. There's a two-person kit for $50 and a four-person kit for $90. All the details are on greateruticachamber.org, but essentially it includes your meats to grill. So they will be ready to grill. Just to clarify, you will have to put those on a grill. Uh, <laughs> it'll have all the buns, the fixings that go with them. Uh, potato salad, sliced watermelon, chocolate chip cookies, an apron for the grill master, a frisbee, koozies, and of course you'll be supporting the Greater Utica Chamber all while you have your kit and your food and some good time and entertainment when you log on to the call. Uh, so multiple ways to join us for that. Uh, and just to clarify what you will do with your kit. So when you purchase it, you will get a confirmation from us and then you will need to pick up the kit you can pick it up. We've made it really easy. There's two pretty uh, generous time frames. So Monday, uh, the 28th, right? That's the 28th. Or, I'm sorry, Monday, 27th. the 27th. Uh, you could pick it up from three to seven at Feast and Festivities by O'Connor's. Or on Tuesday, you can pick it up from 12 to 5. And that's on Seneca Turnpike. If you're familiar with where the old Zeb's was and where Pizza Hut is, it's right in that plaza next to it, or, or I should say across the street right on Seneca Turnpike there, and they will bring it out to you curbside if you're not comfortable going in. Uh, so it's really turnkey. You'll get the kit, you'll go home, you'll throw everything in the fridge, and then when it's ready to log, time to log on at 6 p.m., you can fire up your grill and join us, and uh, we'll do a quick welcome on the, the Max UC call. We'll draw a few prizes, and then we'll let Sean get into playing some great tunes for us. So you really can just crank the volume and, and put us aside if you want, or you can say hi and wave hi. Uh, there's, a, of course, a chat feature, too. If you wanted to, to chat with people, you can chat with individuals if you'd like as well. Um, so we hope you'll join us. Again, it'll be a, a nice, unique way. Uh, and whether you can log on or not, you can still get the kit. And if you can't get the kit, you can still log on. So... Um, we hope that you'll you'll do that, and I know uh, Patrick does a great job with food, so uh, it's sure to be delicious and a great, nice way to cook out and still kid friendly, right, Steve? Because you don't have to, you have to leave your house. Yep. That is <laughs> exactly. true. That is true. Exactly. <laughs> Saves you money on babysitting if necessary. Yeah, all you all you really have to do is swing by and get some Saranac and UC, or do Reamers or Seneca uh, curbside, right? And then you you'll have your complete complete evening. Yep, uh, and if absolutely. it rains, you can grill inside, right? We don't even that's, have to worry about yeah, the rain. Exactly. <laughs> Would not, not recommend. Take responsibility for that, but <laughs> yeah, right. Would, no, not on the grill, on the stove. And I would not <laughs> recommend using the frisbee inside unless things get real crazy. But exactly, that's on your own <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> for you to decide. <laughs> All right, guys. Any final words before we close out here? No, I'm good. Just register, and uh, and thanks everybody for the support of the chamber and. Uh, um, you know, we're just, we're going to keep the train rolling. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Yeah. Better to see everybody, um, at, uh, you know, the, the virtual cookout and just know that next year we'll hopefully be back in person, bigger and better. And, uh, 
you know, great job by all. And we'll see you uh, Tuesday next, right? Great. Sounds good. All right. All right. And we will put the website up for you guys. Again, greateruticachamber.org. You can get the link right on our homepage to register. And we hope to see you next Tuesday. Have a good day.